I didn't realize until I read it last night that there's a Uranus joke in the Harry Potter books. Oh yeah, what is it? It's it's uh, Ron saying it to Harry when it's in uh, the the fifth book, um, and he just he comes out. It's when he's in delirium and they're in the place where they're they're fighting the Death Eaters and there's that veil on the thing, and he's uh, uh, Ron is all tripped out and just says. Hey, we did this thing. We're in class. We studied Uranus. Get it, Harry? We studied Uranus. <laughs> that joke was not worth it. Nope. <laughs>。Back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. But I am a Hufflepuff. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Read the bubble on the case. Squat. I picked up my Harry Potter book again. I'd, I'd stopped reading it's only it. It's been two back... years. No, I stopped reading it in no, January. It's been about two years. I started reading the book, this book, a year ago. Yeah. yeah. You took forever. Yep. And That's what she said. Uh, today, uh, we are reacting to some classical so books. No. Well, classical music. Good. Um, I assume it's Indian classical music. Yes, I it's actually um, the Debar Festival. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it's going to be one of those. Oh, great. We've reacted to, I believe, one of hers before. Um, you'll maybe recognize her. Her. Uh, she she's, was in singing. Yeah, insanely good. Uh, I, I think she does Carnatic music. I don't know if that's exactly what this is, but this one's called The Genius of, say her name, Aruna Sairam. And then, and it's Kalinga Natana Talana, Krishna's Serpent Dance. Cool. Uh, Did Sri Devi do something about the serpent dance? No, well, the first thing we ever saw of Sri Devi was the, the dance of like a, a snake. The snake dance, uh, yeah. But I don't think it, I, okay. it could have something to do. You can tell us. But I love the Debar Festivals. It's yep. one of my favorite videos. Yep. So you ready to be transported? Ready to go. Here we go. Dabar. Is that how you go to that or Darbar? Kadam, but this is a young 
Pita num gura Pita num any other one we've ever seen yeah um and i think i this one feels like way above our intelligence yeah and it never and ceases to amaze like in like, i'm not saying it's not impressive to us because it that it's that it impressive that's how impressive it is yeah i don't think it, it looks difficult but i know that i'm not grasping exactly how difficult it is to transition sure that's what i feel like this one is mostly about like the ease of her transitions from the the, the the um what are they called the ragas ragas, ragas? Yeah. that she's transitioning from seem insanely difficult. I know, and they've got them memorized. Yeah, um, and they know exactly where they're gonna go and when they're gonna go there. And it's like it's like watching Neil deGrasse Tyson talk. <laughs> it's like when he's doing what he's doing, especially when he's talking about the universe. Yeah, exactly. You the know, universe. you know that. He's way over your head and he's bringing it down to your level so that yeah. you can understand, you know? Mm -hmm. And it also, I don't know why this one struck me this way, but the difference of Eastern and Western music reminds me of the difference of, of the languages in that we're a Latin and Germanic based language yeah. and they're Sanskrit and they're very, very, very different. Yeah. And, and they've got sounds they make and intonations that they make that we don't include. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happens in their music. Mm -hmm. There's a level of complexity, there's modality, <coughs> there's intonations, there's rhythms and spaces between things that we just don't yeah. do. Like the, the, the random spacing yes. of the stuff. I, the only thing I can think of that's slightly similar in Western is jazz. Right. That doesn't have a lot of rules as opposed, and what we've learned is this, does have so right. many rules, but you, it sounds like it's just improvised right off the, off the top of your head. And everybody else in this was also crazy impressive. Yeah, as well, always. Um, and all the musicians in this were crazy impressive. But yeah, her it, one, she looked like she was having a blast. A blast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she what it the same look you get from Zakir uh, Ustaji Zakir Hussein. He one, he's just having a blast. Yeah. Also, he knows that I'm that good. Right. I'm the you're gonna be impressed with what I'm about to do. Right, right exactly. <laughs> and you can see it in their face, not that they're right. like arrogant or anything, but when you're that good, right? you know, like, I'm, I'm, I, you, know you should that be good. that confident. Right, you should be confident, it's not arrogance. No, when you've worked for something exactly. for that long, it's not like you need to be like, I'm the greatest thing ever, but you you can know that you're great. Absolutely, this is a very, this is very pale in comparison, but maybe it's a good comparison, is like, when you used to watch Kobe in the zone, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I wasn't a Laker fan, mm -hmm. but how could you not 
when Kobe was just in the zone. Yeah. And he played with a swagger. Yeah. That isn't a level of like conceit. It's mm-hmm. just, I feel it. I'm in it. I know I can do something that other people can't. And it's like, if you were an eagle and you could fly, you'd look at all the other animals and go, I can fly. You can't. And that's exactly what it's like. Yeah, it's just this it level of like. excellence is incredible. Yeah. That uh, didn't disappoint. Not that was at really all. Cool. And like I said, it probably went way over our head exactly mm-hmm. how difficult what she just did was. Yeah. yeah. And it seemed difficult. Like those transitions were, like I don't think they're that easy. No, to do flawlessly, as well as the tightness of the other instrumentalists around her. Mm-hmm. And I think they're following her lead in terms of the slowing down of something. Not when to slow, but how they slow. Mm-hmm. Making sure they're in sync and yeah. watching her hand. And uh, yeah, I'd love to know. Yeah, and I'd love to go to a festival like this where all you get to do is listen to this. Yeah, and la- last year the bar uh, invited us, uh, but it was right. like a week before. A week before, uh, which we would have loved to have gone, but my wife was like nine months pregnant at the time, and yeah. uh, we were saving up for going to India and all that stuff. And now COVID, so I don't know what the bar festival is doing, but hopefully next year or the year after, depending on. What the world looks like at that time. Sadly, the world is a very different place today yep. than it was a year ago. Yeah, it's very sad. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll get back there. We'll get. We'll get. We'll back get to there. The swing of Hang but, in there, everybody. But one day, yeah, I would absolutely love to go to this mm. festival. Everything we've seen, we've not seen one bad performance or one. Not even like not even, not even bad. Just not. Mediocre. Just medi- yeah. <laughs> Everything is nothing been mediocre. Incredible. Yeah, that's um, true. So, yeah, uh, whenever that happens, we'd love to go to one. Let us know more videos that we should react to of classical music down below. <laughs> Don't <laughs>